flex with the hex Where we tell you about the movies We tell you that they're great Or if they really stink Now it's time to start the show Yeah, now it's time to go Guess what? It's Flix with the Hicks Folks, welcome to another episode of Flix with the Hicks I'm Greg, this is my lovely wife Janet and each episode, we review two films that we recently watched on DVD. We always review the best film that we watched and the worst film that we watched. And this week, Janet got tasked with picking the worst film of the week. Would you like to disclose your film? Yeah, it's called Married Life. Okay. <laughs> it came out in 2007. It was made for only 12 million and it didn't even make $280,000 and something. That's it. But um, yeah, it was uh, a slow movie. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very slow. It had Chris Cooper, which played Harry, uh, Patricia Clarkson was his wife, which is Pat, and um, Pierce Brosnan, mm -hmm. tall, dark, and handsome him, you know, and uh, Rachel McAdams was playing as Kay, and she's beautiful, and she was the beautiful mistress, okay, so these two guys are good friends, okay, that's Harry and Richard, which was uh, 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 Bronson, Bronson, none, mm -hmm. none, whatever. Okay, Harry and Richard are friends. Okay, Harry's having an affair with this younger, gorgeous girl, Kay, which is supposed to be a war widow or a widow, widow, right? A widow. And he's madly in love with him, but he's married to Pat. So, and it's a very boring, long term marriage. Anyway, it it was slow, okay? I'm trying to explain the story a little bit. Um, okay, Pat ends up with another guy. Uh, Kay is acting like she loves Harry and then meets his best friend Richard. And Richard and Kay start seeing each other and don't know how to tell Harry and it's just like that and there's slow parts a lot of slow parts and it just did not flow well the story this is based on a novel from 1953 and actually there was a, a, a show with Alfred Hitchcock series that they, they did but Harry wanted to kill his wife instead of go through a divorce to you know and he went through all this ordeal about her metamucil and putting it in there and anyway it, it was a mess uh, well it wasn't a mess i mean it's just kind of boring mm -hmm. it's very slow very slow now, you know chris cooper's good he's always i good. like him a and lot. he was very good in this film too mm -hmm. but man the pace of this film was just slow mm -hmm. You know, it was just, it was hard to stay, it, there was enough to keep your interest, but by mm -hmm. the end of the movie, you were like, why did I watch that? That was just yeah. slow from the start to the end, and uh, it never had really a climax to right, it. Right, exactly. There's nothing, but kaboom. Yeah, you know, it's one of those like films that. that you could watch this week, and in two weeks, like you did, mm -hmm. you told me, well, this is the, the movie I'm going to say is our worst film this, this week. And I was like, mm -hmm. I don't remember that movie. I had to look it up. And it was only a week ago that we saw it. Yeah, I know. Yeah. It, it's so, it, it was that boring. But um, now, when it came out on DVD, they had different endings. Oh. Yeah, you, you could choose different endings, which would have been better than this ending. Yeah, any of the other endings would have been yeah, better. Yeah, yeah. So, anyway. Well, how, oh my goodness. We got a flight of... Water turkeys. That's what they are. Hmm. Pomerants. Okay. Oh, anyway. 
<laughs> anyway, we're out here outside. It's been 75 degrees today. It's awesome. She's easily distracted. So. Okay, so go on with your film. Okay, all right. Now, how would you rate this? I One to 100, right? Yeah, one to 100. Okay, I'll give it a 35. 35. I mean, I like the actors and the actresses, but the storyline, I mean, they did well in their performance, but the story itself sucked. I mean, it's just too boring. There was no big nothing in it. Yeah, yeah. I would give that film... I mean, I'm right there with you. I'd give you a 35, too. Yeah, see? So, my film that I picked as the best movie of the week was mm -hmm. Hairspray, the 1988 production version. of, or yeah. version of mm -hmm. Hairspray. Mm -hmm. um, it was directed by John Waters, which I normally don't care for his films too much, but this one was really good. Um, the movie had a production um, cost of $2 million, and it grossed six point eight million at the box office. Wow. It was critically acclaimed. Um, the critics loved it. Audience really liked it too. Not quite as well as the critics. Uh, but basically the film star, and I gotta read this because there's a lot of people. The film mm -hmm. stars Ricky Lake, Divine, Jerry Stiller, Sonny Bono, uh, Vitamin C, Ruth Brown, Deborah Harry, and Rick Ocasek and, from the Cars. Rick Ocasek from the Cars. And this was Divine's last film. So, uh, Ricky Lake plays um, Tracy Turnblad, a high school student that's overweight, and it takes place in 1962, and she tries out for a TV dance show, which was similar to, what was that? Soul Trek? No. <laughs> no, 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 uh, American Bandstand. Yeah, American Bandstand. There and you go, perfect. What I liked about this film, it really seemed to capture that time period. <laughs> I mean, to these teenagers... The biggest thing in their life was running home after school and watching American Bandstand or whatever it was called in this. Mm -hmm. And um, so she tries out for the TV show. Mm -hmm. She gets on the show. She actually beats out one of the girls that is one of the stars of the show. And her name is Amber. And she's a real mm -hmm. evil mess. Mm -hmm. And so anyway, she becomes a celebrity and on the show. And she's constantly trying new dance moves and coming up with new dances and all this stuff. And um, during that time that she's a celebrity, she starts meeting some of the black students at her school. And she gets involved in integration, school integration, which causes a real problem, especially with Amber's parents, who's played by Sonny Bono and Deborah Harry. Mm -hmm. And so it goes from being more about dancing and being on the show to more having to do with integration and what was going on at the time of 1962 through our country mm -hmm. and I thought this was a great representation of that it's kind of it's comical it's John Walters film has kind and of a lots dark of humor. big hair and yeah. lots of hairspray to hold the big hair yes that's why it's called hairspray I guess but I mean like seriously the flips and the yeah but this movie kind of, if you enjoyed the movie Grease with Travolta and Olivia Newton-John, you would probably enjoy this. Um, I thought it was really good. I really did. And I was shocked. I had never, I had seen bits and pieces of it years ago. Yeah, I wasn't interested until I really had, I sat down. Since we're reviewing these movies, I'm paying more attention. And actually, it is a good movie. Mm -hmm. It's a good flick. Yeah, it was. Um, I would give this film 0 to 100. I'm gonna give it a 90. Really? I'm gonna give it a 90. I was yeah. thinking more like 82, 83. Okay. I mean, it's good. Mm -hmm. I'm, it's not one of those wow movies for me, but it did have like touched on some of the issues mm -hmm. and stuff, along with the fun, fun parts and mm -hmm. all that. You know, but yeah. So you have to remember too, all of John. Waters films are kind of over the top. People overreact to things and yeah. they're, they're loud. Right. Um, so you have to kind of see through a little bit of that. Mm -hmm. But um, I, I really enjoyed the film. I really did. And uh, mm -hmm. this is one of them that I want to keep. So, yeah. Anyhow, 
Hope you guys enjoyed this week's Flicks with the Hicks. If you did, please hit the like button, the subscribe button, hit the little bell in the corner for notifications. And until next time, go out and enjoy a good film.